if you're using a combination of Airtable and make.com, being able to have a table like this in Airtable, pressing a button and sending the data directly to make is a very valuable skill to have because once the data is in make, you'll be able to do exactly what you want to do with the data. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a table like this, how to create these buttons that send information to make.com and I'll give you some further information about sending additional data and then getting it back into our table. And I'm able to show you this because it's something I use every single day in my business. And it's a very useful skill to have. It allows me to send data back and forth and get exactly what I want each time. So let's get right into it. So here I'm going to create a new table. It's gonna be called table six. And here I'm just gonna create a webhook in in make.com custom webhook add save and I'm going to grab the address to clipboard let's say that here I will have a record ID which is a formula and it's a record ID so this will ensure that each time I create a new record it's a completely new and unique piece of information I'm going to have a field called name, which I'm going to change to short or other single line text. And let's have status. Let's keep that, delete this, change status to or from to do to idea. This is sent and this is received. So I'll also show you how to change these statuses from make.com. And that's it that by default, when I create a new record, we want that to be an idea. So now if I create a new record, it is an idea. And here I, have, I will have a field called um, message back or data received. And this will be a long text. Create, and that's pretty much all we need. The next thing, in terms of setting this up is to add a button here. So let's add a button here and call it send to make. And this will be a button. Now, this will be the action to open a URL. As you can see, there are also a ton of other options that you can choose from. So open URL, open in page designer, run script, preview URL. Send emails, send SMS, create a document, attach photo, open custom extension. So there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with Airtable. But for now, let's go with open URL. And the URL will be the webhook sent right here. So if I paste that in quotes, that will allow us to, as soon as we send that information, so if we run this once without any additional stuff, and I press the button, that will send this. But obviously it's empty because there's no information being passed. It's just a button being clicked. So what we want to do is, let's say we want to pass the record ID to the button as soon as we press it. So here I'm going to do the following. I'm going to add a question mark. I'm going to add the name or the key value. So let's call it rec ID. I'm going to put an equals and then I'm going to add it or I'm going to add to this, this record ID here. So if I type REC, as you can see, it says insert a field or function. So now if I save that and I go back to make.com, hit run and hit the button, I will get a record with this record ID. As you can see, this ends in SY, which is the same as the one in our table, which is SY. Let's take this a step further. I want to do two adjustments to this. I want that as soon as I press the button, this window opens by default, but also closes. So I don't have to keep closing it each and every time. So I'm going to add a webhook response and I'm going to add this short script. So script and slash script to close it. And in between, I'm going to put this JavaScript window.close, open and close brackets. So now if I save this and run it, when we press the button, we will get the window to open and then to close. In addition, I want to edit this field. I want to change the text from button to send to make. 
but I also want to send the information found on their name. So I'm going to pass two different pieces of information. So I'm going to add an ampersand and I'm going to pass the name um, information. So I'm going to add and name is equal to, I'm going to add another ampersand and put the name field. Save. So now if I have my name there and I press send to make, this should technically open and close the window. And then if I go to make, I will get this record ID sent along with the name. So send to make, as you can see, this opened and closed that window. And if I look at this information here, I got the record ID and the name. But now let's say that I want to do something with that information. I don't want to just send the information. I want to have the information or some information back in this data received column. So let's say that for the sake of simplicity, I just want to return this value in uppercase. So here, instead of data received, I'm going to call this uppercase value. So what I'm going to do is instead of just sending this window.script to close the window, I'm also going to update this Airtable record. So I'm going to go to Airtable. I'm going to update a record. I'm going to search for my test base. I'm going to choose table six. I'm going to choose the record ID, which we'll get from this module. And I'm going to update this uppercase value. And in make, if I go to the functions, there is this upper function. And that takes one single parameter, which in my case, I'm going to pass the name function. Hit OK. And now, if we try this out, so save, run this once. If I go to our table and press send to make and go back to our table, that is, that has returned the uppercase value. Let's try another one. So run this once, type in a bunch of random stuff, hit send to make, and that didn't quite work because there's a bunch of additional characters there. So you might also want to do some error checking, some data validation as well. But if I put just text, run this once and hit send to make. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look why that is not working. So uppercase value MJ record ID base. Let's see. Okay. The reason is that that hasn't yet updated. So this scenario is only getting MJ. So what you could do is instead of passing the name here, you could get the record ID, then wait a few seconds to ensure that the data in our table has been updated and then updating this record with the upper function. And my suspicion is that if I run this once again and press, press send to make, now this will return the correct uppercase value because it has time, it has now had enough time to actually update in our table. So as you can see, this is now updated. So this is something that tends to happen with our table, which is sometimes what I do is add a wait, a sleep function here. So add a module, sleep, give it a few seconds to sleep. And then what you do is you read the record from our table. So you add a module, our table, get a record based on that record ID. And then you update that record rather than the information you pass through the web hook. Alternatively, you'll have to give it a few seconds manually. So instead of just putting that in and hitting send to make immediately, you give it a few seconds. So let me remove this, remove this, align, save, run. And now that a few seconds have passed, then this is probably stored correctly in our table. If I press send to make, I will get the complete string in uppercase value right there. So 
In this video, I showed you how to build the simpler table database, how to send data to make, sending as well information about the record ID and the name. And this can be anything you want it to be, as long as you pass the right information here, and then get the data back in um, this information. What I forgot to do is update this record. So what you could do technically is instead of leaving it as idea, once you press send, you could update the record to sent. Then once the information is complete, if you have like a lot of functions and things to perform, you get the information back and then you change this to received. A quick and easy way to show this with idea and received is here. I can say when you update it, change the status to received. So now if I run this once, create a new record, put in a string, give it a few seconds, and now press send to make and go back to our table. This gave me back the correct value and it cha also changed the status to received. So that's a quick way to update all the data that's relevant to you in our table. Hope you found this video useful. If you want more stuff like this, hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'll speak to you soon.